Hello, my name is Patrick. This is the King of Cars. To ring in the new year, I've decided to show my passion of cars through a new light being on YouTube. And I've decided to start off on this journey on YouTube going on quite an interesting adventure. Today, my friend Jean-Luc Dubot of Dubot Photography and I are going to go up to Wisconsin to look at some amazing high grade blue chip supercars and hypercars. And then we're going to go meet up with our friend Max M. Flairman over in Madison. It's going to be a very fun adventure today, and I can't wait to bring you along for the ride. We're taking the Civic today, which as we all know is a thoroughbred race car. Just use regular tires on a sports car. No, Mom, it's a Civic SI. That stands for sports car. Now, driving through the Midwest at any time of year, especially during the dead of winter, is just about the most boring thing you can do. Except for the cheese castle, that makes things exciting. After around three hours of reminiscing on old car YouTube, we eventually made it to Kearns Motor Cars in Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. So, we were first greeted here by this beautiful Viper GTSR. Now, I can't remember how many of these were made. I think around 28, if my numbers are correct. But this was to commemorate the GTSR GT car. And then above it, we have a original late 90s Viper GTS. These are amazing cars. I mean, both of these things are just absolute animals on the road. Big V10s, what's not to like? I mean, it's supposed to be the modern day Shelby Cobra and these things are just awesome. You don't need me to tell you that this wing just, God, it is one of the coolest wings on any production car by a long shot. Now, moving on from the Viper, we've got this beautiful brand new Lamborghini Aventador Ultimate Coupe, one of 350 units to commemorate the end of the Aventador and this beautiful, beautiful blue. I mean, the silver brake calipers, this is a gorgeous spec. If we come out and look in the interior here, these are just fantastic cars. You get the carbon and my favorite feature about this car is the starter switch. I mean, it's just so, so neat walking around and just this rear end sort of derived from the SVJ. It's perfectly aggressive, but also very, very tame as well. And these cars, oh, this is on very high on my list of cars that I would love to own in the future. Just for the noise and the driving experience. I mean, it's something you can't get anywhere else. Now, moving on from the Ultimate, we have this beautiful McLaren 720S Spider. Now this isn't limited to a particular number of units, but what makes this car interesting is this beautiful satin white paintwork. But even better is this very, very beautiful, very bold blue interior from McLaren Special Operations. I've never seen a 720 like this before. And I would go as far to say this, this is definitely a one of one car with all of the options this car has. It's simply gorgeous and really helps bring out the lines of what is a very beautiful car. Speaking of beautiful McLarens, Moving on, we have this beautiful, very, very nicely specced 765 LT Spider. Now, this is the hardcore, very potent version of the 720, which the 720 is a very high bar to begin with, but this just cranks it up to 11. I got the great fortune to drive one of these early last year, and it is, frankly, an incredible car. It's You're just holding on for dear life at this point. And... I'm not sure which blue this is, but it is very, very nice, very gorgeous, and it's very nicely specced. Much more bare in the interior than the 720, but that's what you get when it is a track car. Speaking of 765s, over here on the other end of the dealer, we have this 765 Coupe, very similar to the Spider, same wheels, but this one is finished in, I believe, Napier Green, which is a very nice color, very bright, very yellowy doesn't really show up well on camera but this one has the carbon senna seats from mso which are very difficult to get into and out of i'm five foot ten and it has always been a challenge to get in one of these cars especially when it's a senna or something like that but this car is very nicely specced with the green calipers and the gloss black around it's a very nice car Moving up from the 765, we've got the Artura. This is McLaren's new V6 Hybrid. Apparently these cars have been really good from what I've been seeing online, reviews. Um, some 
people like Matt Farah going out to say that this is McLaren's best car to date, which I haven't been able to experience one of these cars yet. So I'll take his word for it. But yeah, these cars are very interesting. Very interesting history in McLaren having to liquidate a lot of their company to get these cars into production. But now that they're here in the flesh, I mean, they seem to be doing pretty well. Now moving from a McLaren of the modern era to a McLaren of the past, the beautiful SLR McLaren from the 2000s, an icon, Richard Hammond calling this car hypercar royalty when he was racing it against one of these. This is a Murcielago SV, one of only 300 or so cars, one of 46 US cars. Now this is actually the lowest mileage SV in North America. I believe it's somewhere in the 500 range. So this car is absolutely cherry, absolutely mint. You could not find a nicer SV. What do you think? <laughs> Live Dubo reaction. But yeah, I mean, these cars are just gorgeous. Got the big yellow SV stickers, got big wing. I mean, this is everything you want in a Mercy, except for the E-gear, but hey, I'm not gonna put that against this car. And rounding out the cars here in the dealership, we have two McLaren Elvas. This is McLaren's hyper-limited hyper car based on the 720 platform, but cranked up to 11 with more horsepower, no windshield, and limited to about 149 cars, if I remember correctly. And here we have two. The first one here in Napier Green, absolutely gorgeous color, same color as that 765 back there. But even better is this one in MSO Pacific Color Stream. It is a color changing paint, depending on the light. You get yellow, orange, green, blue, purple. It is an absolutely gorgeous color. I hope to see this car out in the sunlight one day. It is a very nice color and a very nice car. Another thing I want to point out on these Elvas is the very useless rear view mirror that doesn't do anything. It's only there for DOT regulations here in the US. So it's a funny little quirk. I know Doug DeMiro pointed that out in his review of the car. And yeah, these are really cool. But this to me is my favorite. The Mercy SV was always one of my dream cars growing up. It was has always been my favorite Lamborghini. And Jeremy Clarkson always famously said, your favorite Lamborghini was the one that was made, the V12 car that was made when you were six. And although I was a little bit older then, this has always been the car that I aspire to own. Now coming outside, gonna do a bit of quick fire here. We got this beautiful white Audi RS7 Sportback. We've got a mid 60s Mustang. We've got a 69 Corvette and you can tell that it's a 69 Corvette because you have the four slats here but you also have the Stingray badge. If it had the four slats, not the Stingray badge, it'd be a 68. And for 1970, they started going for a, like a sort of a grill pattern right there on the louver. So that's the way you could tell that it's a 68. We've also got a C6 Z06 here, one of my favorite cars of all time. One of my attainable dream cars. I would definitely love to have one of these in the future. We've got a Ferrari California and a Turbo S Cabrio. Going on to the other side, we've got an M2. CS, I believe it to be a CS. Yes, it is. Very nice, very rare. I think it's one year only. Beamer boys, you could check me on that. We've got a C8 Stingray. These cars have very much taken the world by storm, especially the new Z06, really punching above their weight class in performance and value and obviously horsepower per dollar. Moving on, we've got a 458 Spider, the car that inspired the C8. This is in my opinion, one of Ferrari's best. The 4.5 liter V8, just revving to 9,000, just making a godly sound as you drive along. And moving on, we've got another C8. We've got an F-Type and just a whole line of other cars around here at Kearns. All right, just left Kearns on our way over to Madison to go meet up with our friend Max, uh, M. Flareman, as I described earlier. Uh, we're delivering a camera to him, but I feel like some shenanigans will ensue, so stick along. Knocking on my window. <laughs> What's his registration proof of insurance? Hello. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. Hello. Welcome to Kelly Moss. Yeah. I so said yes. <laughs> Hold on, someone's knocking on the camera. Show the camera. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Man has the stuff in the trunk. Most excellent. And you can keep the bag too. 
I can keep the bag. Yeah. yeah. Don't pack your lunch in it because it's got a small leak. But... I thought you wanted him to find out. Yeah, I'm not that much of a dick. Like, he's just always in his own world. He really quiet for real unless he know you. <laughs> 